Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away and as you can see from my background here we have now got pack 8 of the Agora models release of build the Shelby Cobra. So just going through these stages, we're basically doing stages 57 to 64. We're going to be doing the fuel tank, rear trunk, I'm just reading on the screen here, fuel pumps, pipes, rear fender parts, firewall, speakers, cable harnesses, a lot of electrical stuff as well. There's a lot to do in this one. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, this is where I'm up to at the moment. I'll put the link here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. They do have an accelerated starter as well, so you can get more than one pack at one time. That's not the only thing you'll find over there. You'll find the Terminator, you'll find the Super Snake, you'll find the Bismarck, you'll find the Leopard Tank. Obviously, you'll find the Cobra. There's so much to look out for over there, so go and check that out. But we're going to go straight into this, so without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is what we were left with last time and uh, this is what we finished up with the electrics and the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take the five points that we've got on top the five leads on top here so i'm just grouping them all together like this and that should leave five leads down the bottom there which it does and all of these leads here we just want to pass through this hole here so uh, i don't want to put them all in one one at, one at a time is the best way to do this if you try and uh, ram them all in at the same time, as you can see, it's going to make your life a lot harder. <laughs> so just put them in one at a time till they are all through. And when they're all through, they should look like that and like that. Now, this is what the fuel tank looks like. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this section here. We're just going to tidy some wires up a bit more. We're going to take three from this side and two from this side. So when we put this down, we're going to have them coming out of these notches just here. So we're going to have three going in there, two going in there. I can put them in loosely first and I can put some uh, torsion on afterwards. As long as they, when this fits flat, are not pinched. So that looks just like that. We do need to hold this into place. We're going to be holding it into place with four screws. And they're the OP03 ones that come in this pack here. So I'll get them open. Got my screwdriver handy. So we put these into four screws. They go into the smaller holes. So we've got one here. So that's the third one. And finally, we've got the fourth one just down the bottom. It's into the small holes these are going. So that's what it's going to be looking like when they're all in with the cables coming out the top. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 58, another large part here, it's the rear trunk. So I'll get this open. And then holding this part like that, and this bracket that we got here, it's gonna go over these two lugs we can see just there, and it's gonna be held in place with OP08 screws. I do like how each screw you need comes with this pack, so you haven't gotta go looking through a screw box or anything like that. It does sit quite nicely in there, by itself as well. So that's the first screw. Just put it in very lightly until I get the second one in. Over this side. That's the second one. Just make sure that's nice and tight. One. Two. So that should look like that. We're then gonna turn that over. We're gonna take the fuel tank that we worked on with all the wires on it and with the wires facing down and all the leads coming out the front we're going to be putting these four holes over these four lugs just like that now they're going to be held in with op03 screws there's the first one that's holding that in place what a bulky section this one isn't it here's the second that's the third and lastly just one down here and that's the fourth and when that's in it should look like that from that side that from that side that's all there is to do in that stage <laughs> 
Now issue 59, we've got some fuel pumps and we've got the uh, pipes and all sorts of details. So I'll get all of these out. So the first thing we need are the fuel pumps. Now the difference between them is one of them has got a kind of wide lug on there. The other one has got a quite narrow one. So the wide one is gonna go into this wall that we can just see on this side here. So I'm just gonna push that in, that's all you need to do. And when that's in, it should look like that. That's what it looks like from the other side. And we'll just put the other one in here. That's gonna go next to it. And when they're both in, they should look just like that. Now, fuel pipe one is the one that's got the longer lead coming off of it here. Now this is just gonna go into the side of the first pump and it's also the other end of it just going to go into the hole the first hole you can see nearest to the back of this bulkhead here so i'll put that in fuel pipe two exactly the same just a shorter lead and it goes in exactly the same it's going underneath the uh, one that we just put in though so again put the pipe in first probably is best and then pin it to the fuel pump it is a little bit fiddly but when they're in they look like that, pretty impressive. And fuel pipes three and four are pretty much identical. I'm just looking at them. They really do look identical to me, uh, but they're gonna go into the ends of this, but they are the blue section here is plugged into this side of the fuel pump. So once again, I'm gonna put the black end in first. Hopefully one of the cameras can see this. And then we put the other end into the hole in the side of the fuel pump. I'm gonna do the bottom one first. I think that would be easier. That's the bottom one in, like that. And we just do exactly the same to the top one. and that's the top one in as well. We're then gonna be putting the truck lock in. Now this part that you can see here is the truck and trunk hinge. The larger part here is the trunk lock. This is the piece we need. Now this is just gonna be going onto the little section that we can just see there. There's a little lug to keep it in place, but we've gotta put one screw in there, which is an OP10 screw, which I've got here. These are quite uh, thin little screws, these ones. But I'll hold this into place. And put that OP10 screw in there. Just like that. That's what that looks like. We can put that to one side. Because all we're going to do then is put the uh, trunk hinge onto the trunk support. That's what this is looking like here. And this is just gonna go onto this hole that we can see into the side there. So it's gonna go on just like that. It actually goes on the flat side, not the open side. So it's this way round. Once again, held in with an OP10 screw. And when that's on, that should look just like that. And then this is basically gonna be going over the top of this notch that we see in the side. And the other side is just going to rest on that section there. So it just basically goes in like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 60 is a rear fender part and a cable holder. We're going to be putting a lot of details onto this. Now this is eventually gonna go on here, but before I put it on, we just need to segregate the wires now into two strips. So on this side, I've got 10, nine, two, one, and four, and all the other wires are on the, on the other side here. So when this goes in, it's gonna be going this way round, and what we need to do is just feed the wires through here. So that's number 10, this one's number four, Then we've got number one here. Do it one at a time, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. 
then we got number two and lastly on this side we've got number nine I'm not going to put them all the way through at the moment until I've got the other ones in and then we just do the exact same thing on the other side here so we've got eight and we've got seven then we've got six it's a good way to keep the wires tidy that's for sure then we've got five and the last one we've got here is three we're going to pull these wires through and place this whole thing into position So as you can see, it's going to go on like that. It's going to take three screws at the front, two at the back, and they are OP10 screws. Now, I don't know if there's an error in the pack there, because it says OP10 screws, but I haven't got OP10. I've got OP3. So I'm just going to try them out. It might be the OP3 screws that we need. But the OP3 screws are perfect. So even though the instructions, I believe, say... Ah, I see. They do, they do say OP3 screws, but the picture says OP10. So don't get confused by that. <laughs> see, I find these things out for you. <laughs> Let's put one of the back ones in, just to keep that reinforced. I do love how this is just one complete unit. The... Uh, this part's come out, I'll put that back in again in a second. On this side. And then just one at the back here. Now that's all secure. I'm just gonna put this part back in. Once again, that just rests over the top like that. So that's all in. The last thing we've got here We've got another little clip here, which is going to keep all of these wires tidy. We're going to bunch them up on both sides so they're fed out for a single hole just in the middle here. So it's kind of like that. This is what's going over the top. So I'll put this in. It has got a lug to help align it there. It's going to go in just like that. Once again, it's going to be held in this time with an OP08 black screw. I've got here. I bet you've never seen a uh, wire tidy like this before, have you? <laughs> That's excellent. So I'm just pulling it through so we've got maximum wires there. But look at that for wire tidy. I love how that's been done. I wish more models would do that. Take an example from that, definitely. Uh, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, stage 61 is the firewall. I'm going to open this up because we're going to have a lot of details to put on this. We've got so many details to put in this, they don't actually include it in stage 61. So stage 61 is now complete. So stage 62, as you can see here, we have got the speaker. So we're going to be putting the speaker in and the support for the speaker. So I'll just get this speaker out. And quite simply, the speaker is just going to go into this section here, facing down like that make sure the wires are coming out the bottom it does hold itself in but we do have a little cradle to keep that in so it's never going to fall out that's going to go in this way just like that make sure you put it on the right way the other side's got ridges and that's going to be held in with op08 screws which i just so happen to have already opened so here's the first one and that's screwed one side in Here's the other one on this side. And then once they're all in, that speaker's going nowhere. The speaker's labeled number six, by the way, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, stage 63 is the cable harness, and we've got some electrical devices to put on as well. So I'll get these out. Looks like a nice big wire in loom here. And the first device we're actually gonna be put in, the electrical device, is a little white one looking just like that. So with the speaker facing this way here, that's just going to be pushed into the socket that we can see just there. So I'll push this in, show you what it looks like. Just like that. 
I'm just going to tidy this uh, cable up. This actually goes into the notch that we can see at the bottom there. Probably asked us to do that in the last stage, but I didn't notice to be honest with you. So there we go. So that cable is in there. It does get held in by a screw, even though that holds itself in on its own, that little electrical detail, which is an OP14 flanged screw, which looks like that. So I'm just going to put that in here. And then that detail's never coming out again. Now the next detail, quite a large detail, is actually going to go directly onto this wiring. Uh, I'm calling it a wiring loom. I guess that's what it is. Uh, we have got two holes just into that detail on the wire just there. So then there is two tiny, tiny lugs just on one side of it, which are going to go into that to hold that into place. Oh, I've dropped it. <laughs> Let's put that back in and press it in. And that's going to hold that in place. And then we can bring this whole loom over to the vehicle, push it in where it goes. Just like that. It's going to be held from the other side here with an OP07 screw. So that's just going to go into here. It's the larger lug that we put this in. Just like this. And there we go, that's that one in. I'm going to get some uh, tweezers because we're going to be pushing this end of this cable through the hole that we can see in the bulkhead there. Just like that, it should hold itself quite well in there. Then we're going to be fixing this along the top here, again, with the points that we've got along this. I keep calling it a wiring harness. If it's not that, I apologize. It's the best way I can describe it. But you see, we've got two in there. We'll put the last one just in the end over here. There you go. So they're all in. We want to make sure these top ones go all the way in. You should be able to see them quite clearly out the back there. Now these two cables here actually go underneath this section here. Not sure where they go at this time. There is actually two little holes on there. I'm not going to put them in until it tells me to. But the next uh, detail we're going to be putting in is this tiny silver one looking just like that. And with the detail facing towards the vehicle, it's just going to go in here like that. We've got this black detail here. And with again, the square blue square there is going to go towards the left of this section. That's going to go in here. And again, we need to push this down. It can only fit one way. So it looks just like that. And that is all there is to do so far in that stage. We have got some wires that aren't connected at the moment, but I'm guessing they will be soon. Which leaves stage 64. More details to go on the back there. So I'll get these out and we're going to take electrical device five that looks just like that. It's very similar to device six, which looks like that. As a matter of fact, I swear they're the same thing. But we're gonna bring over the bulkhead again. This is gonna go into the hole just below this section here. So I'm gonna push it in. And you can see exactly how that looks on there like that. We're gonna take device six, which I said looks identical, and that's just gonna go completely underneath this one that we just put in, making sure that the, uh, the little wire or hose is inside that when we push it down so it gets locked into place so that looks like that i love the detail on this then we've got this bigger detail here which is going to go on top of that sort of wire there can only go in one way we have got a lug sorting that but what i'm going to do is line it up so that when it's in again it's pinching that wire underneath into the little indent we've got so that wire looks like it's going into that box. Now this one is screwed in from the other side and it's going to take an OP07 screw, which in here, just opening them up, is again one of the silver flange screws. That's going to hold, uh, it seems like the bigger details are actually held in with a screw. That will just make sure that bites down on that so that doesn't move. That looks excellent. And in the same way, we've got another detail with a hole at the bottom. The hole needs to face down because again, this pipe here is gonna go into it. 
the, at the moment it wants to go into the uh, the hole there <laughs> it has got a little keyhole pattern so it's uh, it's only it can only go in one way but that's it and once again it's going to be held in on the other side with an OP07 screw and then what I'll do is I'll feed this wire that I've got underneath into the hole just at the bottom there push that all the way in <laughs> looks excellent look at that which means the last detail we've got is this really big bulky one here that's just going to go into the vacant space that we've got here so once again don't worry too much about the wire we're going to be putting that in afterwards but I'll push the detail in here and again secure from the other side with an OP07 screw Make sure that's on nice and tight, and just like last time, I'm then going to feed this wire here just into the hole that we've got at the side, just like that. And that is that bulkhead completed. That looks so detailed. So once that's done, the last wire we've got to put in is just this one over here. That's just going to go into the side of the silver detail we put in here, just like that. Now every wire has been connected. That's what the bulkhead looks like, and that is all there is to do in the Agora Models Shelby Cobra Pack 8. Thoroughly enjoyable. I didn't really need to bring the car down, did I? But uh, look, so we've done this massively brilliant bulkhead, and obviously we've got this whole wire, the wire tidy solutions amazing, with the fuel pipes in there as well. But uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. If you want to get this for yourself, all you need to do, follow the link down the bottom to the Agora Models website. Now, once again, as I said, you can order this all the way from Pack 1 or all the other models that you can see from Agora behind me here. But if you really like that video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.